Hi, welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to download Xbox 360 games absolutely free and then I'm going to show you how to get them downloaded games onto blank DVD discs ready to play on your Xbox 360. Now for downloading the games we're going to be using these things called torrents and for those of you watching this video who don't know about torrents I'm going to try and do my best to explain about them. First things first you're going to need to install a BitTorrent client onto your computer. If you don't have one installed follow these next steps to get one installed. Launch your internet browser, type in your address bar www.utorrent.com. Now you come to this page. At the top, click on download, scroll down and click on get utorrent, and then run. Click install. Now go and have a look at your desktop, and you should have this green icon with a U in the middle. If you have, this means you've installed utorrent. Now you're going to need to get your torrent game files. I'm going to take you to the site that I use to get these game files. So launch your internet browser again and type in your address bar www.thepiratebay.org. Okay. So when you get to the main page, click on Browse Torrents. And on your right hand side, you'll see Games and the categories underneath. So click on Xbox 360. Now you have a list of games. And you'll see the green arrow. So just click on the green arrow of the game you want to download. I'm going to download any one just to show you how this works. Now save the torrent file to somewhere where you can remember. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. Now you have another icon, the same as uTorrent. Now underneath that icon, you'll see the name of the game. Double click that, and it will launch uTorrent. Now at the top, it says Save As in this little box. This is where you're going to need to remember where you saved the game file. You're going to need to remember where you saved it to burn it to disk. Now on the side you'll see a little box with three dots in. Click on there and this gives you the opportunity where you want to save it. I'm going to save mine to my documents and click OK. Now at the top you see the name of the game and next to it you see the size and the percentage complete. It says downloading status and then you've got the download speeds. Now in between you're going to see seeds and peers. For those of you who don't know about torrents, you need to listen now. The seeders are people that have downloaded the game already and are now uploading data. And you're a peer. The peers draw the data from the seeders. So you want less peers and more seeders for a fast download. This is because if you've got 200 peers and 10 seeds... And 200 peers are all going to be drawing data from the little amount of seeds at one time. So you're going to get a tiny bit of data each. It's going to break it down. You're going to get a percentage each. Okay, so if you've got more seeds and less peers, you're going to get more of a percentage of data. So you're going to get a faster download speeds and you won't have to wait ages for your games. Because some people email me saying, I've been waiting three days for my game to download. That's because you have not got enough seeds. Okay, so now you remember that. You can't go wrong. Always get higher seeds and less peers. Now I'll shut out of that. That was just to show you the basics. Now once you finish downloading your game and you remember where you saved it, go there. You're going to have a massive bunch of files. Inside they are going to be RAR files. If you have not got WinRAR installed on your computer, you need to install WinRAR now. It's absolutely free. You can get it from the address on your screen now. So now you've installed WinRAR. All them icons, them files in your game folder are going to have an icon of three little books. Now double click one of them icons with the three books and it's going to open up WinRAR. And inside you're going to see two files. You're going to see a .dvd file and a .iso file. The ISO file is going to be largest in size. If it's an Xbox 360 game it's more than likely going to be 6, 7 or 8 gigabytes. So just drag the ISO file onto your desktop and you're ready to burn it to disk which I'm going to show you how to do that now. But first things first, you're going to need to download a software to get these games onto this. So I'm going to take you to the website where you download your software. It's www.cookiesgameburner.com Now this is the website. You need to get this software to burn the games. This, game, this software will burn Xbox 360, Wii, PlayStation 2, PC games. It burns every game there is. This will burn all the games, but you need this software, okay? So once you've got the software... I'm going to quickly install it to show you how it goes on. I'm going to launch it. Now it opens. At the top it says game, please select the game file. Now I'll click on there 
and remember where you saved your game file. If you saved it to your desktop, go to your desktop. If you saved it to your documents, go to your documents. Mine saved to my spare hard drive, so I'm going to quickly select Rainbow Six Vegas 2. And now it says Rainbow Six Vegas 2, the sectors. You don't need to worry about the sectors, this software does everything for you, it automatically breaks the sectors into layers. You've got the size, the time, you need to select your DVD drive. It has to be a dual layer DVD drive for Xbox 360 games. Dual layer only. Now it says test mode and verify. Verify if you're not familiar with burning games, I suggest you use the verify function. Because this would double check the game after it's burnt. So double check everything was burnt fine. Now you've got the burn speeds four times. Please leave it at four times. Is that four times for a reason? If you go higher, you're going to get uh, read errors on your Xbox 360. The disc is going to jump, it's going to pause, it's going to freeze. Leave it at four times. Don't go any higher. Now over here, you've got a black Xbox 360 and a black Wii. When you insert your blank disc, these are going to turn white. Okay, and you're going to be able to click on them. You can't click on them now, but once they turn white, you can click on them and it's going to burn your disc. An Xbox 360 game will take about 25 minutes to half hour to burn at four times. It will take half hour, 25 minutes. Don't expect it to burn in two minutes. Just wait. Once it's done, take the game out, put it in your Xbox 360 and you're ready to play. So I'm going to quickly talk you through that again. Select your game file from here. Double check it's the right game, it says the label, it's the name of the game, the sectors, you don't need to touch them, the size of the game, make sure you select your dual layer drive from the destination, test mode and verify, burn speeds, leave it for, insert your disc, these will turn white, click on there, take the game out and play. That's it, you don't need to worry about any settings like all the other game burners, you don't have to play around with anything, just select your ISO and burn and put it in your Xbox. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's helped. Any more information, please email me at bigcookie at blueyonder.co.uk or send me a message on YouTube and I will be glad to help. Thank you for watching.